gardens, hockey <laughs> gardens. Then I, um, I go back to the miniature paintings to see how they look like. They look like okay. Now, next, please. I should be doing this. I want you to stand up here. <laughs> Miniature paintings. Um, the, the one at the top uh, on your left uh, is from the time of uh, Mehmet II, that is 15th century. Um, we, what we see in this as, as a garden, uh, a prince is sitting in a little pavilion, and inside of the pavilion is covered. With tiles. Thank you. Oh, it's very really clever of you. Thank you. Anybody who wants to sleep, please <laughs> do so. I love to sleep during the detective. And it is a very sweet, sweet uh, dream. I mean, sleep. Okay. Um, so, uh, from the shape of the decoration, we understand that it is a tiled. And uh, we also see uh, walls of, at the two sides of the pavilion, garden pavilion. And so that means it is a walled garden. And behind the walls, you see some genesetic uh, figures. They look um, into the garden, um, and behind them we uh, we also see some um, some trees in blue. And this prince is enjoying himself, having uh, probably highly probably wine. Uh, they always have. Uh, ceramic bottles, not glass bottles, because glass would show the content of it. <laughs> and what is also very interesting is that uh, at the bottom of the scene, you see on the left the Turkish woman. Their hairs are, can be seen. They are not completely covered. And uh, they are playing uh, musical instruments. And on the right, there are male singers. So they are uh, making music together. That is also very interesting. So uh, I want to stress, uh, I want you to remember the garden pavilion. Okay. Um, now, in the middle, you see a garden from the time of Beyazet II, the son of uh, Mehmet the Conqueror. Um, here we have uh, we have a garden pavilion. It is it is raised, it is high uh, to enjoy the view, and uh, there is a water running. And also two fountains, one next to the uh, on the wall of the heavy garden pavilion. The other one uh, is a fountain with a jet. Uh, the end flowers and so on. It is very important. You know, I was trying to find uh, the main elements of an Ottoman garden in the miniatures, which are common in different miniature paintings. And here you have a 16th century miniature painting showing uh, Murat III sitting in an uh, 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 garden pavilion. And a uh, water feature, as water feature, we have uh, the sea. The garden is on the seashore. And but uh, as trees, we have cypress trees. Cypress trees played a great role 
in the, in the garden, garden culture. Uh, okay, we will come back to that. Uh, this is also Murat III. And look at the size of the garden pavilion. It's like a palace. But it is open at the side. Um, against uh, too much uh, sun or wind or uh, rain, there are um, curtains. Louis, not the curtains, please. And uh, he is sitting on a small uh, throne like thing. And uh, he has all the fruits and drinks in front of him. And look at the flower arrangement. <coughs> they, uh, they put the <coughs> flower vases in a row. Uh, and with, you know, we have the flowers. And we have um, also the cypress trees which are seen behind the, uh, the uh, walls of, uh, of yeah, city walls. So these are the main elements. And also we have a screen. That is a screen um, to keep uh, the sultan uh, uh, from the eyes of the people who would be uh, on the sea. Now, in 1582, Murat III wanted to do something to show the, uh, the uh, splendor of Ottoman Empire. But uh, he never went to military campaigns like his uh, grandfather's. But he, he loved books and art. He was a great patron of arts. And <clears throat> in order to show the glamour, uh, he decided to use an event, the event of circumcision of his son. And uh, he, uh, he organized a festival which lasted 42 days and 42 nights. And the festival took place at the Hippodrome. It, uh, the Hippodrome uh, was used by the Byzantines as well for such uh, events. Uh, and all the guilds of Istanbul paraded um, in those days, and whoever had any skill to show uh, would come here uh, to the arena and show uh, the skill. So here we have the florists on your left. They come, this guild, florist guild, they come with the flor uh, flowers. There were more than 100 florists in Istanbul. The population of Istanbul was a couple of uh, thousand uh, uh, hundred people. And 100 florists was far too much. So uh, the government uh, wanted to reduce the number. Can you imagine? When I, uh, when I heard from my uh, professor when I was very young that after the uh, after the war uh, two uh, shops were opened in Berlin right after uh, the peace that was a book store and a florist and I said my god what a culture but we also had such culture, too. Um, on your right, oh, by the way, let me introduce Murat III and his son. Yes. 
sitting uh, in, the, in the balcony of Ibrahim Pasha Palace, which is across the, uh, the street uh, of um, uh, Blue Mosque. And it, it houses, this building houses um, the Turkish and Islamic Museum today. Maybe you, you were there, some of you were already visited. And on the right side, on the right side page, you see a man bringing a paper uh, tulip. He made a huge, giant uh, tulip uh, made of paper, and he brought it to the arena, uh, showed his skill. Unfortunately, it rained, and it was not a help. So you, you see the uh, flores, and let us uh, continue. At, uh, during the same festival, we had uh, the gardeners. Gardeners, of course, could not bring their own garden, but they, uh, they made model gardens on wheels, or they carried the uh, models um, to, to the hippodrome and they show their gardens. These models also show us the main aspects of Ottoman gardens. Uh, what we have on the left side, at uh, the top, we have uh, the uh, blossom trees. Uh, they must be uh, flower, uh, uh, fruit trees uh, in the spring. And also, a cypress tree. They uh, made sure that, you know, a garden had to have uh, a, a cypress tree. And um, on your right, you see a water feature. It is not walled, but it is benestered, this 